That was my family singing the song of Gideon down here in front of the federal courthouse. It's raining down here. We had uh, it's courts over with. That's Joe Ash. He's doing his march. He's been marching down here for about an hour now. One of my sons, Josiah. Say hi, Jonah. <laughs> There's Jacob. Got everybody down here for the for the march here on Friday night. Hopefully, it don't rain us out too much. It uh, court went real good today. We had uh, Dwayne Emmer. He um, was the last one that testified today in court. After his testimony, he walked over and gave his cowboy hat to Ammon Bundy. And um, I wasn't in the courtroom to get to see that, but um, sounds like it uh, was a real uh, neat deal there. David Fry testified, as I said this morning, and uh, his testimony um, spoke about his uh, experiences there at the refuge. And uh, he spoke about his, um, about him, uh, was, he was supposed to be the one of the guys that was in the, um, in the truck with Lavoy. And he had got a text message inviting him to go, and uh, he didn't didn't go to the um, to the meeting there in John Day. He was helping, he was helping Lee, Rice. Lee Rice do some stuff. Yep. What's that? You want to tell a little bit about it? Because you was there. It yeah, it's on you. It's on you. I thought you were talking to yourself. I mean, like, <laughs> I'm showing everybody else's yeah, picture. Uh, David actually said that he he absolutely would have been in the car and that the the bullet that Ryan took he believed probably would have been the bullet that hit him in the head had he gone and um, I think it was a miracle that he didn't go honestly to endure that kind of trauma yes and to watch his hero die um, I think that potentially could have been the end of David Fry. I think it would have been. So I think it was. I think it was God's hand. He was there, and him being back at the refuge allowed him to keep the live stream going. When um, David said that there were eight, what did they call them? Uh, the big tank, like the thing. MRAPs. Yeah, that came in and surrounded the the compound where they were at. Eight, yes. Eight of them, and that they kept telling him they wanted a peaceful resolution. And yes. He was like this is not my idea. No. saying over and over how his grievances were never discussed. They never said, well, let's get you a meeting with this person. Can we sit down and go over this information and see if there's anything legitimate to your grievances that we actually need to address? They never did that. No. So as you're saying, we want a peaceful resolution, but when when you've tried peaceful measures and they have done nothing, what are our people to do? That's what Ammon's been saying to us all along. What are our people to do? And. Uh, you know, they, they took their stand that they needed to take and they got the attention they needed and they brought it to the courts, which is what they wanted. So, exactly. Yeah. Well, it was a good day again. It was a real day in court. <laughs> real, real good day in court. Yes. The yeah, boys court. The boys down here, they're enjoying their march down here. The family, this is their first day here at the courthouse. Say hi, Rebecca. My daughter, Rebecca Jo. <laughs> so, you can show my shirt, John. So this shirt, um, the the jurors complained. My shirt says "Stand with the Hammonds," and so they sent me out and told me that I needed to put my sweatshirt back on. But as you can see, that's true. <laughs> I'm like, what do you want from me? They keep trying to threaten different so I, ones of us for our shirts. They told me I could not wear a shirt that said "Political Prisoner." So I had to turn my yeah. sweatshirt inside out in order to go back in the courtroom. So, even though there, even though this jury is not deciding anything for the Hammonds, if no. I say stand with the Hammonds, that has nothing to do with this jury. This jury is only deciding on a conspiracy charge. Exactly. So it's, it don't make sense, and I know the jury didn't say nothing about it. No, absolutely not. They couldn't have even seen it from where I was sitting. But, well, well, if you're close by down here, come downtown. 
we'll be down here for a couple more hours even with the rain we're gonna stand over here in the federal court building area there's quite a few people here some more showing up about seven o'clock we've got some food down here too if anybody needs any food So. I'm going to sit down and do, um, I'll go do my notes guys, it's still going. I'll go do notes and do a live stream that'll go through all the notes from the day, so. Sounds we'll good. That, get that done, and get it off my mind. Well, we'll be back in court on Monday morning, right? Monday morning, probably won't be done uh, with court until like next Thursday. Court will probably be over about next Thursday, the way it sounds. So, yeah, then that good. turns it over to the jury by then, you yeah, think? Exactly. So the jury should get this case by next Thursday. So, yep. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you later.